or well, I guess I've watched your videos on it, but I haven't um had to connect into it. Yeah. I was worried. I was like, dang it, no. You made it, so it's perfect. Hello, lovely. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm ready to connect in and, and um Yeah, me too. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so let me share a little bit. So this is recorded, so you'll receive the recording um in your inbox. Uh and my recommendation is to always download it onto your computer or onto a laptop or something um, just so that you have it stored somewhere else. Because if you just keep it on the email, you may lose the email or, you know, accidentally delete the email or something like that. I think it comes like in an MP3 or something, a video file or an audio file. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect into the guides that are around you. Um, whatever the galactic beings, the angelic beings, the, whoever it is, we'll see who shows up. And um, as soon as I connect in, I'm just going to open up to who they are and then just let you start asking questions. Okay. Are you there? Hold on a second. You, you got muted again. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I, um, I understood. Okay, perfect. Um, and um, so we'll just go in. My, I'm going to bring us into a little quiet meditation to kind of just drop us into the space and invite the beings in. Um, okay. So you may or may not feel energy in the space. It really doesn't matter. Um, but they'll be coming into your space a little bit more energetically. And then, um, and then we'll open up and, and start receiving messages and, and you can ask questions, okay? Do you have questions? You sh I'm yes, I have so many questions. Okay, perfect. Uh, a lot of questions. Okay, good. So um, I will do my best to not let them sort of talk and I will let you just ask the questions um, and then they will answer. It sounds like my voice, but um, they'll be the ones sort of answering. They'll be providing me the information, okay? Okay. 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 All right, so let's just start with our eyes closed uh, and just relax, drop your shoulders, get super present, such a gift to be here right now. I don't even do sessions anymore, so it's like, you know, there's always a reason for everything. So, Oh, grateful. I'm so grateful that you're doing this for me right now. I've actually started opening up a couple more sessions because we all need so much help right now. Yes. Okay, so just find your breath and start to breathe in and out through your nose. Just some really nice, slow, deep breaths. And just know that everything that you need to know is going to come today, okay? So we have an expectation of what we want to know or what we want to hear. And then the, there is the actual uh, divine information that's going to come in for you. So what I want you to do is we're settling into the body and starting to bring ourselves into the now moment. I want you to just visualize uh, your root chakra, the very first energy center that you have down by your sit bones. I just want you to open it up. And the way you do that is you just intend for it to open. And then it's just going to kind of ground us down. So visualize a light cord grounding you into the earth. And then I want you to bring your awareness up to the top of your head. I want you to open up your seventh energy center. And the reason we do these in this session is it's allowing us to open to the higher frequency beings that are going to come in. And then the information that comes in sort of settles in a little bit easier. The ego is out of the way and we get to actually sort of take in the information easier. So that seventh energy center is just going to open up. And then you're going to let that light just kind of flow through the body. Coming in from the top and going out through the bottom. Beautiful, energetic flow. Perfect. And then what I want you to do is just in, in your own mind's eye, so you don't have to say it out loud, but I just want you to invite in the beings that are wanting to communicate and be with you and I today. Great, here they come, they're coming in. 
So just settle into your breath. If you want to put your hands on your belly and sort of just comfort yourself a little bit, like you're okay, all is well. You're so perfect and divine. You're doing a great job being human. So one of the things they're saying before we begin is just, they're very galactic, by the way. So they're very, very galactic uh, beings. And there's two specific ones that are coming in. Um, go ahead and invite them a little bit closer to you. And just know that you're ready for everything that's coming and you're ready to awaken deeper into all of this and that you're okay. You're safe. Okay, great. Perfect. So before we get going, they do want to just validate that it's, um, they're, they're congratulating you on being more in your body and getting more deeper into your body, sort of awakening into the fact that you are a human, uh, meaning you are playing the human role uh, and you have to continue to play that human role in, in order to do what you came onto the earth plane to do. So they're just validating this feeling of perhaps not being comfortable, um, feeling suffocated, uh, whatever sort of experiences you may be feeling as you awaken into that physical form that you're in, okay? Okay, so let's go. Since you have so many questions, let's just begin. I'm gonna keep tapping into these two beings um, deeper and deeper as you start asking your questions, okay? Can I start? Yep. Where am I from before Earth? So the beings that are showing up for you right now, they are very, they're, it's almost like they are Syrian in frequency and vibration, but it's possible that they could be some sort of a hybrid type of galactic. So they feel very Syrian to me, but they also feel not Syrian. So they have Syrian frequency or energy to them, they're saying, but they're not 100% Syrian. Um, I, want so, you to, I want you to close your eyes for a moment, okay? My eyes are closed. Okay, I want you to open, I want you to move yourself into your fourth energy center just for a second. Just bring yourself into that fourth energy center. And I want you to invite the beings to stand directly in front of you for a moment. And I just want you to open the center up and invite them to move energy straight into that center. I want you to allow yourself to start to sort of experience what color you may see. Do you see them tall? Do you see them? What are what they want you to experience them for a minute before we move on? So they're, when they talk about kind of being hybridish, um, they're not it's not like it's very complicated. It's not like they are a hundred percent Syrian. Okay. But they have a lot of Syrian consciousness in them. They also, I have, it. they also have another sort of uh, galactic high, high technologically galactic being also almost like maybe 25% uh, that, that from a system that we're not familiar with. Okay. So these beings are very, technology kind of uh, focused, meaning um, advanced ways of being in the human form, okay? Which means that there's probably something that you're gonna be doing uh, through this ascension path that has to do with uh, advanced tools within you to assist humanity. It's, they're blue, these beings are blue. Yeah, I see blue. Yeah, they're tall. They're, they're soft, but they're, um, they're gentle with their energy, but they're also um, very Stern. direct. Yeah. Yeah. So sort of like when you're ready, we will be here. So um, this is a really, really easy way to connect with them. Okay. There's two of them that come in. And if you can practice this every day by moving into your heart center, opening that center up 
and then inviting them to come in and just get as close to you as possible, right? Always opening that energy, the seventh energy center up though. You want to open that up because it, it, it then opens you up to the channel to receiving. And then just tell them to just come into the space. And from this space, you can, because these are the two beings, at least for right now, that you're going to be remembering from, meaning um, directed or guided uh, through this now. Like, what's next for me? What do I need to focus on? What do I need to pay attention to? What do I need to read, right? There's, a, there's mm -hmm. like a book they're giving you. They're, it's like they're handing you a book. So there's reading that needs to happen. You need to start to read. Uh, really? understand like quantum mechanics, quantum physics, quantum theory. They need you to understand like the science of how energy works before you can start to do what you're here to do on the earth plane. Understand the science. Yeah. Like, um, of energy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you have to, you, they're, they're, but, but here's the other thing. They want you to not, they want you to start listening. So you've got to start to listen. Um, you've got to keep your seventh energy center open. You have to stay open to listening to your higher self, which is the aspect of you that's telling you what to do. So are you, at, throughout your day, do you feel nudges to do things that are random and like, why would I ever do that? This is so weird. Do you ever, are you feeling those? Yeah. And are you all the time? Are you I mean, doing not it? Not like necessarily something that is very direct. It's going to get more direct. Are, but are you, is it kind of out of the blue kind of things? Like getting out of the city. Okay. So, you to get out. so you, you, Okay, good. So here's what they, they're t saying to you. They need you to, to listen more. So meaning, let that voice get louder. Okay. So the way you let that voice get louder is you get more quiet. So you spend, yeah, I've been trying to get so quiet. Yeah, good. And the, the more quiet and open the seventh energy center up, open the fourth energy center up and invite them in because they are communicating through your higher self right now. And they're telling you what's next. So it's going to mm -hmm. sound very random, like I, we need you to go and look, we need you to walk into that book. So there's something about books that's pretty important right now. She needs to read, she needs to read, she needs to read. Okay, I don't know what to read though. So we, th they're saying we need you to, to, to sit and to feel into what's, what is, you, you do know, you just don't, you just... That you just I know, I know. <laughs> you, you you do know what you need to read right but you don't know what you need to read because it's because you're not tapping into it yet you do know though so what i'm getting is quantum quantum energy quantum mechanics quantum physics um how the universe works uh how the human mind is can all of that kind of thing but you need I, to go ahead i am interested in that kind of stuff yeah so so listen a little bit Listen to what, know and intend for the next, here's what they want you to understand. This is go time. So you're actually in school. You're in, you're in work. You, you clock in every day. I do. <laughs> yeah. You're not on the earth plane um, to just be a human and have, you know, the human experience. I'm here to, oh yeah, I, clock, I do know I do clock in every day. I'm very yeah. focused on figuring everything out. Great. So I want you to imagine every morning you're actually waking up and you're clocking into work. Oh. Okay. That's a good thing. I, I am all, all about it, those imagining things. <laughs> yeah. So every morning you're actually learning more and more so that you can be, become and do what you are designed to do on the earth plane. So this is, um, there's a very specific purpose and reason for you being in the human form. Okay. And it starts with what they're giving you right now, which is learning. Yeah, I just, I wish I knew exactly what it was I'm supposed to be reading, you know? Just tap into it. Just listen. Go to the bookstore or go online on Amazon. And, and, and the way you unravel is you don't wait. Okay? Yeah, so I'm over the waiting thing. You just, just start to go and look at different quantum mechanic books, quantum physics books. Just start opening the books up. Go to the library. You don't even have to buy okay. them, right? Go to the library or go to 
a used bookstore. I don't know. Figure out what feels right to you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just look you at watch uh, YouTube videos on that. But but they want you to be real careful on who you listen to. So, but you can do YouTube videos also, right? So just mm -hmm. start to explore this field and don't wait until it's like, oh, that's the exact thing I'm supposed to do. They're saying there is just no do exact. Everything that I feel called to. Just start to go. Just okay. take action, right? Because if you wait you're always going to be waiting. Does, do you mm -hmm. understand? Yes, I understand. You're never going to get the bell ringing saying that's exactly it. Now you get to go. It's, that's, that, that's not how this works ever. So as you start navigating these fields with them, the quantum space and, and figuring out what's next, you just have to move into what it's like you're blind and you're sort of like, Oh, I think this may be where I'm supposed to go, but I'm not exactly sure. But at least if I'm moving, something's happening. Right. At least if I start to look into this field, something's I'm moving with the energy. Yeah. I'm excited to actually know the quantum read quantum. Books. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And then just stay focused on, you know, knowing that this is your, you know, the other thing is, is that, that you've been, you've been in a galactic space most of earth's existence do you know what that means no okay it means that you've never been in the human form this is my first human life yeah oh yes i knew it i knew it yeah so which means that you've been galactic and you've been watching the earth and the human for millions of years on a ship you've been on ships you've been on planets you've been all over the place so i've so just been observing the human and assisting the, you've been assisting your consciousness, right? Other Syrian hybrids in physical form. So what these two beings are doing, you've done. Make sense? Oh, yeah. You've okay. been on the other side. Oh, shit. And for whatever reason, you decided to drop in this, this time. Because this is actually the big party. This is the big hurrah. This is when, it, when the rubber hits the road. This is when the yeah, actual... I've been I've been getting the grand finale. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's the grand finale. They've been telling me grand finale forever. Yes. That's why you dropped in. Because this is the grand finale. Yeah. That's what you were telling. It's what everyone knows this in the galactic realms and in the higher. They all know this is the, this is, this is it. Yeah. They've been telling me this is it. Right. And so and that's, like, so you. I've been, I've been trying to communicate with them, but it's just not clear. It's not going to be clear. Accept yeah, that. Yeah, I've got to surrender into that. It's not clear for me. It, it, takes, it takes trust to say, oh, I'm going to just believe that. So it's almost like you're talking to somebody that's, that's like two miles down a road. Uh -huh. And you're like, I think I might be able to read their lips, but I'm not exactly sure, right? Or I think I can hear them, but I'm not sure exactly, right? It, it takes practice. You have to just trust, which is one of the reasons why they're giving you this session right now is to validate everything you've been hearing. Yeah. So yeah, this is your first time in the human form, but you've been assisting many human forms. And you've been on ships, you've been you've been in portals and mountains, right? You know how to move into portals on the mountains to connect with the humans. You're quite adept at moving through the quantum space and you understand energy, which is why they need you to remember how energy works, which is why they need you to study it. Because you're now in a human form, so you're now navigating everything with a very complex system which is the egoic structure and the mind which is very powerful right? it's like a computer system and now you have to navigate your higher dimensional awareness and consciousness with that computer system in the 3d <laughs> yeah what are your other questions um right now i want to be more financially stable and I want to live alone so I can dedicate myself to meditating. Perfect. Okay. And I want, and I just want to live alone, but I don't know where the funds are going to come for that. Yep. And I don't want to go back and work and out cause I'm not working. I work from home for my aunt right now and okay. I want to move out of this situation, but I don't know where the money is going to come from. And I don't want to go work a 3d job because I don't want to waste that time. Okay, so I, here, go ahead. Okay, um, I forgot, but you can go. <laughs> so here's what they want you to, to tap into. And, it, it, and 
there's an energetic frequency that, that the human calls abundance, right? And that, that many humans have a hard time moving into, right? And abundance doesn't mean that you have all kinds of money. Abundance means that you are in a state of trust and flow with the universe, that everything you need is taken care of. It's very challenging to get into that frequency because there are, uh, we are programmed as humans, they're saying, to believe that if you do this, then this happens, right? Like if I, if I, if I have my own place, that means that I might have to get my, a 3D job or whatever these restrictions are, right? Mm -hmm. these, these rules. They want you to let go of, they need you to let go of trying to, to figure out or control any of it. So they, it's almost like they need you to stay focused in the now. And so, okay, th here's what they're showing me. They're actually saying that, that, that where you are is exactly where you need to be right now. So you're, you're going to be in the this, in this solo home, the solo place, when, when that solo place pops up. So what they need you to focus on, and this is challenging for the human aspect of you to understand, okay? So just hear it out and then listen back to it. But what they, what they want you to hear is, can you stay open and surrendered and figure out how you're going to get quiet where you are and hold the knowingness that you are stepping into the space where you are completely alone in your own home, okay? So right now, you are in a place of, I'm not happy. This is, I don't want to be here. I want to be in this place. Cause if I was in this place, it would be better. And I'd be able to do all these things. And I'd be right. You're futurizing and you're, you're not necessarily open to your now. Does well, I have been working really, really hard on just being happy where I am. Good. So stay. So now what they want you to do is they want you to stay, they want you to open. So hard to explain. They want you to energetically open as opposed to forcing and restricting like, okay. So, when we force ourselves to be happy, like I'm going to be happy where I am, I'm going to be happy where I am. It's mm -hmm. almost like we're trying to trick ourselves, right? Like there's this, yeah. there's this like, oh, I'm just, I'm going to, I've got to be happy here. I've got to be in this space of just surrender. And they, they want you to do the, they want you to do something different. They want you to just imagine. So it, keep your eyes closed. They want you to imagine stepping into like a bubble. Okay. And in that, when you move into that bubble, you're completely relaxed. And when you're in that bubble, nothing matters. You're completely <laughs> taken care of. Mm -hmm. right? And in that bubble, you know that you're going to move wherever you need to move, whenever you need to move there. And in the meantime, all you need to do is just float in that, bu bu that bubble of abundance. Okay. okay. So yeah, in that, that bubble, you're not telling yourself, I need to be happy. Correct. In that bubble, you're not saying, I'm going to try to stay in the present moment right? In that bubble, you're just in the bubble. I'm just there. Exactly. Right. You, you yeah. feel that? Yeah. It's totally different than trying to be in the present moment or trying to be happy with where you are or trying to, trying to do anything. So can you practice, which you can, because you've taught a lot of humans, all of this. Can you practice being in that bubble? Yes. And in that bubble, you know that these beings are taking you exactly where you need to go. Now, you are always telling them what you're ready for. I'm ready for the solo place. I'm ready to meditate more. I'm ready to study more. I'm ready to uh, make more money. I'm ready to start doing my work. I just so want to just, do my work. Yeah. So here's the side note about your work. You have to study a lot before you start to do it. So there is a lot of kind of learning before you start to do it and open to it. Now, this isn't a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It just is. However, they are saying that you can, you can stop focusing on do something that you enjoy and that brings you joy and love and freedom and expansion right now if you want to make money. Because your work is, is advanced and your purpose work, the work that you're here to do is going to take time unraveling and, 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 and it's almost like you have to embody it and it, it it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but, but every morning when you wake up, you're doing it, you're clocking in. Okay. You, 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 
you got to have patience. They're saying there's a trust. There's a deep, 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 deep surrendering and trust to all of this and, and all the frustration you're going to have around it. You get to have, okay. Cause it's not happening fast enough for you. It's not. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, if you can start tapping into, Oh, I am, I'm unraveling what I'm here to do. So at least I know that every, every day I am moving towards doing that work, right? Every day I'm moving towards it. So you've got to balance the human and the galactic. So the, the human is, oh, I've got to stay at my ants right now. The human is, oh, I've got to do whatever tiny little things I'm doing in order to survive. The human is, oh, you know, I've got to sit with frustration and, uh, you know, whatever it is, that's the human aspect that you can't get rid of. Okay. It's just part of the journey right now. Then they're saying, then there's the galactic aspect of you that knows exactly what you're here to do and just wants to start to do it. But you've got to balance both of these that you're holding, right? You've got to balance both. You got to hold both as you, as you move into the work, the, 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 the blueprint that you created for yourself. It's complex. It's complex. So you have, you've given yourself the ability to, you have a lot of time on your hands, correct? Yes. Yeah. There's a reason for that. You've got to start studying. Okay. Because what's going to happen when you start studying the quantum is you're going to, you're going to wake up. Yes. I want to wake up more. Yeah. The reason you want to wake up more is because you know that you're supposed to wake up more. Right. And the more you study, the more you read, the more you're going to remember, the more you're going to say, holy shit. I remember what now I know what I know. See what you brought in the codes, the light codes that you brought in are very advanced and they have to be delicately unraveled. Understand you don't, you would never be able to, they say, understand what these light codes are in this now moment. You, you wouldn't be able to comprehend it. It's too complex. Got it. Yeah. You have to, you have to learn, you have to unravel these light codes. You've got so the to learn. Codes are in See, my DNA, you correct? as the higher dimensional being know exactly what you're here to do and you would do it instantly if you weren't in human form. Yeah. Okay. You're in human form now. So you, you are very dense. Mm -hmm. And now you, so now you have to unravel that density in order to tap into and remember. Mm -hmm. So if you need to go and be in more quiet places, then go and do that, right? To, 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 to meditate more, then go and sit, right? Don't worry about the solo place coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. And it's not coming until it's coming. And in the meantime, you're going to move yourself into that bubble of abundance, which is not necessarily money. Abundance means that you are in full trust and surrender, that everything is perfect, right? That it's divine. And you get to be frustrated with whatever's showing up for you, right? It's practice. You've got to trust that they are guiding you, these two beings. Your so there's self. two of them? Yeah. That are with me all the time? All the time. And you're very close to them, almost like brother, sister. You've been and on- And that's my family that I lived with before? Yeah, you've, you've, you've journeyed the, the cosmos with them in this quantum space in the 3D, I mean, in the, uh, the 12 dimensional grid that you moved into. So you've, you've been all over the place through, you know, um, in the higher dimensional realms, right? It, you, if you start to tap into these memories, you can remember, you can start to remember being on ships, pulling humans onto the ships to work with them, to heal them, to teach them, right? Coming down into the, the, the denser 5D grid, right? That's around earth and, and communicating and connecting with your families, right? And the, the, the beings that were in the human form, you can start to perhaps tap into, oh my God, I remember being on the other side and trying to teach the human who they are and what they're here to do and how to unravel all that and how frustrating it was for the human, right? Now you're on the other side. Now you're the frustrated human. Mm -hmm. And you've got to fall into deep, deep trust that it's all perfect, that there's absolutely no way that you're not going to be doing what you're here to do. What happens when the starseed starts to wake up is there's such a strong urge to do it now 
that there's a force there's a push you can't push it you can't force it you have to surrender in that bubble and for you specifically it is all about studying <laughs> because in that studying in that reading in that learning the light codes are going to turn on and as soon as your light codes turn on you are intuitively going to know exactly what you know so you know things that you don't know you know until you know them. And then once you know them, you are going to start to assist humanity. Do you understand? So am I going to teach about energy? You're going to teach about access to quantum tools that the human has for all kinds of different uh, experiences, healings, shifting dimensional fields, quantum traveling, they're saying, or interdimensional traveling. Uh, connecting into the multidimensional realms with all the different beings around. There's a lot of things that you're going to be teaching. Okay. Okay. Through quantum tools that are inside the human form. Okay. I don't know what it is. I'm, I've never heard this before. Apparently mm -hmm. there's quantum tools or quantum things that we have access to within our light codes. I, I don't know. This isn't my, this isn't my, this isn't my forte, but that's what they're saying. And I think because most humans, most of us haven't accessed those light codes yet, we don't even know what they're talking about. Okay. You have to understand that you're a star seed and what, and the star seeds are designed to work in the fourth and fifth dimensional fields. They're not designed to work in the 3d field. So what that means is that you have to tap into the fourth and fifth dimensional fields and you have to be in those fields, many dimensions, meaning frequencies, in order to do your work. Oh, so I have to already be in those fields? You have to be, you ha yeah, you have to be vibrating there, which means that you have to be accessing that consciousness all the time, being in that consciousness, because that's when the light codes turn on. And the, the, the way in, the way in to be there is through study. You, ego, ego you is not going to know how to do it. So your ego is going to tell you how to do it, and that's not the way in, okay? And the way anybody tells you is the way in. And the, when they say the way in, they mean like moving into these dimensional fields or consciousnesses all the time. Do not listen to anybody they're saying. So Don't listen to anybody? Meaning how to move into the higher dimensional realms. No. They need you to, you are, you are unique. All star seeds are very unique and they're unique for a reason because they're the, they're way showers into these higher realms. And so the way you are going to get into the higher realms is through your own unique version, which is studying. And they're telling me to read books for the read, 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 read. There's a reason you're alone and there's a reason that you have time on your hands. Read, meditate, read, meditate, read, meditate, read. This sounds meditate. amazing, like the life, honestly. <laughs> yeah, read and then meditate, meditate, read, meditate, read. Take this time right now because you're not always going to have it. So if you had tons of money, you would have to be working. And if you were working, you wouldn't have the time to do what you need to do first. Exactly. Right? So we have to always trust where we are and that it's divine and perfect. It's, this is how it's been arranged yeah well, i've been wondering i've right. been trying to find a job too but then i just stopped looking i was like trust that look. there's there's a reason that you're going to be okay yeah you're going to be okay and you're going to find yourself in that space of abundance where it's not going to matter okay moving into that bubble as often as you can will bring you into this place of it's it doesn't matter right now like can i just trust that studying and learning as much as I can is going to turn the light codes on. And if I just do that. Yeah, I trust. I just have to surrender. Yeah. And, and keep your seventh energy center open. Okay. Okay. And there's no fear around that because you've never had past lives. So you don't have this fear of like, oh my God, what's going to happen to me. Right. Yeah, so, no, I really don't. I have seen people who are, but now it makes sense why I'm not because I always keep my crown wide open. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep being conscious of it, that, it, that when I'm opening it, oh yeah, I'm now accessing the, the higher realms, the galactic realms. Call these two hybrid Syrian beings in. They're going to give you their names. They're going to give you kind of the name of their, 
their system. It's almost like a, it's a very funky, like xy, xyloid, or I don't know, some weird, strange name, right, in terms of their collective, but it's very Syrian based, okay? Okay. Um, like, I don't know, maybe 80% Syrian. They feel very Syrian, but they're softer than the Syrian. And yet they're still very straightforward, stern, direct, you know, they're not like no. the Octurians that are going to jump around and play and dance with you, right? Mm -hmm. Or the Palladians that are going to come in and be like, oh my God, you're so great. There's nothing that you need to do. This is more of like, no, no, let's get to work. You're awesome. That is but kind of my personality. Yeah. Sense now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is all great and dandy, but we actually have a lot of work to do. And that's why you, you have that urge in you. Like, I don't care about anything else. I literally just want to get to work. Can somebody just tell me what to do? And then that's I will exactly do it. how I feel. I just want to work and do what I'm supposed to do. Right. That's the star seed what Syrian in you. Good, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, so your, your sort of homework is, and, and when, 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 when you, when, when the star seeds start out, it's not how they want to start out. The star seed wants to just go, right? And mm -hmm. the star seed has to, you have to navigate this field. So you have to open to it more and more and more, meaning the, the, the quantum space. You have to open to the, the, the higher dimensional fields all day long. So you have to stay in constant communion with these beings all day long. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the way you do that is keeping that crown open, knowing these two beings are with you, knowing you're working with them 24 seven, knowing that they're talking to you both through themselves and the higher self, moving yourself into that bubble that feels like flow, abundance, peace, now, I'm okay. Telling yeah, them exactly what I just want to enjoy it too. I want to enjoy my journey. Yeah, you, you, you will. You just need more clarity. As yeah, long as you know, like, oh, I'm actually doing exactly what I need to do and I'm actually making progress and I'm actually doing my work just by learning and reading and act, then, then you're going to relax. Yeah. If, if they were to come down and say, listen, sweetheart, this is what we want you to do. We want you to read these books or watch these videos and meditate every day. And then we'll come back and let you know when you're done and what's next, right? You would do that. Mm -hmm. That's what they're telling you. Yeah. And, okay. and they will tell you what, what is next when it's next. So the, the challenging part is that we, we are in human form with a very complex egoic structure in mind and so we get mm, frustrated we don't trust necessarily it's hard to surrender sometimes we're inundated with the money consciousness which says we don't have enough we need more um, there's tons of humans around which make it really challenging right there's all kinds of external circumstances and denser paradigms and programs that make it challenging sometimes to, to do, to, to awaken into what you're here to do. But, but like, go ahead. I came here to teach. So that's like the main part. You came teach. here to show and yes, teach, show and provide the information that the humans need to know uh, about the advanced kind of tools and technology they have within them that they can access. That's going to assist them in being in the quantum space, whether it's healing, whether it's traveling, whether it's connecting, it's, it's about being in the quantum space or accessing this very magical sort of field within the body. Meaning I can self heal. Meaning I can telepathically communicate with higher dimensional beings in any now moment. You're, it's almost like you're going to be a, 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 an encyclopedia or a book for humans that are awakening and wanting to know where, how do I do this? Oh, and you I want to, you're going to close your, your, this is the type of meditation you're going to do. And when you do this meditation, you're going to be opening and activating this gland or this energy center or, you know, whatever it is that, that, and it hasn't been taught yet. So don't think, oh, this is already, this has not been, this has not been taught by humans yet because most humans haven't accessed this. And I'm going to start accessing it. You are going to learn and then you're going to access it within you and then you're going to teach it. Okay. Which is why so you got to stay in the body. Yeah. So you're teaching, you're like an insight. You're going to be like an, that's, this is why they keep handing. They're just showing me book, show her the book, show her the book, show her the book. 
maybe you're going to be writing books. I don't know. All I know is that they're showing their hand, just show her the book, like as if you remember, okay? Because all they're doing is reminding you. So it's almost like your light codes are an encyclopedia or a book of how to be in the quantum space through the access, through accessing it within the physical form. Like you're going to have techniques here. You, here's how to do this, right? Here's how you do this. You're going to be guiding the human into their physicality and into their quantum field through their light codes. And then, and, and, and it's like, you're going to not be, it's like, you're going to show them the map within their body. Oh, if you go here and access this and open this thing up, then all of a sudden you have access to this and people are going to be like, Holy shit. That, oh, was, wow. that was easy. Okay. But you've got to start to, to learn where you're at. You've got to start to remember how this works because you are in amnesia. Yeah. Major amnesia. Yeah. You're <laughs> like, what the hell is all this? And this is part of, this is part of why you never dropped in in the first place. I'm like, why would I want to drop it in the first place? I can do so much more work on the outside. All right. But this was the big hurrah. This was like, oh no, this is it. I'm going in. I'm going in and I'm going to assist this time because the physical form, the human is waking up physically. They're, they're ascending physically now for the first time ever. And that is allowing them to access the higher dimensional realms. That's what's allowing them to move into the other dimensional frequencies. That's what's allowing the, the 3D human to move into the 5D human. And it's not just about tapping into that consciousness. It is way more challenging and way more complex but the 3D human doesn't know that yet because they're only where they're at. And the only, and by the way, the human is in, is in uh, you know, section A and there's the entire alphabet in terms of moving into the 5D, right? It's mm -hmm. not just about tapping into that consciousness and oh my God, I'm in 5D. It is way more complex, okay? So what you're doing is you're a part of that puzzle. You're, you're a powerful piece of this puzzle for humanity because you're going to be assisting the physical body, the human, the 3D human into, you're sort of going to be putting them on an elevator and saying, here, let me show you how you can access this, but you've got to access it first within you. Mm -hmm. And you forgot because you're in a very dense, veiled amnesia consciousness. So am I serving um, by just, am I serving now? Yeah, because you are, you are putting off a frequency and vibration that is much higher than most humans around you. Yeah, um, the frequency of remembrance. Yeah. Because I, I remember I, like, I, I, like a lot more than the normal human. Of course. Your vibration alone is much brighter not bad, not good, right? But if you were mm -hmm. to see your form walking around, right? And this is for all star seeds, you know, and the star seed, there's a, there's a, there's a misconception around the collective about a star seed. Star seeds have never been on the earth plane before. They think they have, okay? They're in amnesia. They think they have because they've been participating with the earth and with humans. So when they start waking up, they think they've had these past lives. Right? Yeah, I totally did. Yeah, you're like, oh my God, I remember Jesus. I remember, no, you weren't actually in physical form. You're remembering it because you were there, but you were there in a higher dimension, right? So mm -hmm. the star seed is walking around in a body that is holding a higher frequency naturally. You, don't, you guys didn't have to shift, right? You, you brought in more light. Mm -hmm. And... And so by bringing in more light, more light quotient of your, so you brought in more of your consciousness, a higher yeah, the percentage. Yeah. And so it's uncomfortable and it's like, what the hell is this? This is ridiculous. Like when you look out in the world, you're literally like, you, you're like, you can't comprehend how humans are doing these things. You're just, you're in, you're like, what? Exactly. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Right. And, and, and so that's kind of the first stage of like the, the waking up process is like, oh my God, where am I? Mm -hmm. And then you start to get into the body and you start to navigate the, the body and how the body works. And then you start remembering, right? And so, but what you need to realize is you're, you're always assisting just by being in the body. You're, you, so 
if you can give, if you can give um, acknowledgement to what you remember and to what you know, right? And hold that in every now when you're walking around, you'll activate humans. Meaning, I am a, a starseed. I am a galactic being. I've been assisting humanity for millions of years off planet. I'm now in my body. I'm now walking around and I am now going to be assisting so many humans into these higher realms. And you hold that knowingness. And when you start interacting with humans, you are holding that knowingness. You are knowing that in every aspect of your being. And that vibrates out. And then the next thing you know, you're impacting and shifting humans without you trying to do anything. I just have to keep holding it in every, I just have to believe it with every cell in my body. Exactly. There's no, no I just have to continue. Exactly. Like, you, like the, the way that you know your name. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I know my name. You can't tell me anything other than like, I, I know that it's, it's, every, it's in every cell of my being is my name. I know it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not who I am. It's very foreign. It's like a human name, right? It's like, weird i guess i'm morgan this is strange right but mm -hmm. it's the same thing so when you walk around in every now the way you can make the way you can feel as if because the egoic structure wants to feel like you're making it you know that you're doing something now so the way you can kind of allow the ego to feel like it's doing something is to hold that knowingness every second of every now and every breath and every moment and by doing that you will impact every human you come in contact with without saying anything they will be shifted just by being in your presence that's calming for the ego <laughs> yeah the ego always wants to know they're doing they're doing well mm -hmm. right am i doing anything am i doing good am i what's my what's my what you know where am i on the scale of being a being a star seed light worker way show or whatever you want to call it right so that's fine. That's just, they're, they're, they don't care. It's part of the ego. They're just letting you know how you can kind of give to that, that piece of you, that structure, right? Um, but they're also inviting you to, like, when you're studying, they're showing me writing, like, almost like you're in, and you're, you're in class, right? Mm -hmm. you, you have to relearn what, you, what you've known for millions of years out of the body. So what unfortunately, am I to be writing? what, what am I supposed to be writing? Like when you're studying, you know, when you go to school and you study and then you write, take notes, you know, mm -hmm. they're showing me to you taking notes. So if you watch somebody on YouTube, here's what they want you to be aware of though. When you watch on YouTube, they don't want you to watch people that are giving opinions. So this is a little Yeah, I stopped resonating with basically everybody on social media except for you. Yes. So they want you, when you start watching videos on YouTube, if that's what you choose to do, although they are showing reading, but let's just say you start to kind of go through the, 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 the wormhole of like quantum space, quantum field, quantum reality. They want you to only look at like people that are talking about it scientifically. Okay, so don't listen to opinions. Exactly. Anybody that's like, um, that are, that's trying to persuade the audience or... Into believing something. Right. Okay. They, they don't care about the spiritual aspect of the, the quantum space. They want you to actually like scientifically um, explore and unravel it. So okay. if you've ever heard of um, Nassim, I don't know his last name, but they're showing me his face. Um, yeah, it's N A S S I A M, as in Mary. I think that's how you spell his name. And he's a quantum teacher. He's a quantum physics teacher, and um, he's been doing it for a very long time. And he's very scientific. He doesn't care. He's not trying to persuade. He's not. He's not talking um, in any sort of like woo-woo type of way okay so and that's kind of where they want you to stay away from like the woo-woo they want you to stay in the actual grounded science okay okay so this isn't about like the woo-woo stuff they want you to they want you to scientifically study like you're in class okay okay and th don't worry about how this is going to work they're saying because it's it, it's it's uh, your ego is what is 
driving a lot of this right now. So your ego is going to want to try to make sure that you're doing it right or that this is the right path. And, and when that comes up, like, do I still study? Am I doing it right? Am I following the right thing? Am I watching the right thing? That's ego. Okay. So the ego is the aspect of you that is asking for validation, judging what you're doing, putting restrictions on it or anything that has to do with duality, which is right, wrong, good, one way or the other, right, wrong, good, bad, needing validation. That's the ego. Okay. And the higher self, which is what you want to start tapping into more and more. It's so funny talking to you because it's almost like I'm talking to somebody that knows way more than I do, but they just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the higher self is, is the one you want to start listening to more and more, okay? Which is the one that is just going to say, do this, go here, listen to this, you're amazing, keep going, open, you know, sit in meditation longer, those types of messages, mm -hmm. okay? So just, get, just start to get cl even clearer which you already are, you've already nailed this, but you, you just be aware of it more, right? Just observe it more. Oh, there's my ego is again. That's fine. That's great. Oh, there my ego is again. Okay. That's fine. That's great. Right. Mm -hmm. Eventually you won't, you'll just be holding both of these aspects, higher self and ego, and you'll just be doing your, you'll just be following higher self, but the ego will still be there. But you're are they telling me anything else that I should be doing right now? meditating yeah a lot of meditation they're saying okay I a lot know. of meditation um which and, and any kind of way that you feel called to um if you want to go sit out you know in nature or whatever however you want to do it there's no set way that you have to do it and by the way they're showing me that you not that you don't necessarily need to do it in the same space the same you know the same way so create some sort of joy around it as well. Walking meditation, dancing meditation, if you want, sitting by a tree one day, sitting, you know, in your house one day, whatever it is you want. But the more you can sit in meditation, the, the faster you will uh, awaken and remember, they're saying. Okay. So it's, it's key for you, for you specifically, it's key. You know, like if you could, if you could really live, like, I mean, this would be exhausting, but if you could dedicate like four hours a day where you're like reading and meditating, reading and meditating, just sitting in that space. I can. I'll do it eight hours a day. Yeah. You, you'll wake up a lot faster. Okay. So just recognize this is your job. When you wake up in the morning, this is what your job is. Instead of going to an actual job, this is your job. And can you hold yourself in that abundance space, that abundance frequency? Because okay, you're so going to get in. You're going to, you're going to get nervous. You're going to get, uh, oh my God, I'm not making any money. You're going to get like, I want to get out of my aunt's house. You're going to have all those human things. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So just remember, this is what I'm being at this. Listen, we are always going to be in this sort of fog for a while, right? Even I'm in the fog, right? And I'm doing my work. I'm still in the fog. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be in the fog for a while. You're going to get out of the fog faster than I am because I'm designed to work in 3d. You're, you're not. Okay. So you're actually going to move out of the fog faster than me. Wait. So what do you mean? Designed okay. to work? So I am designed as a light worker to stay in the 3d field. I'm also moving in and out of different dimensions, right. At all times. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm holding these different frequencies and I'm holding these different dimensions and I move back and forth quite easily all the time, all day long. Well, I'm, I'm doing that too, right? Yeah, exactly. But your work is going to be in those higher dimensional realms. Meaning visualize yourself standing in the 5D field and then you're turning back and you're looking at the human and you're showing them how to do the things. Oh, okay. okay. I am going to be in the 3D field looking at the human saying, don't worry, this is what's going on. Got but I'm it? going to be teaching more of the scientific. You're going to be teaching more of the advanced consciousness stuff. Okay. I'm teaching that as well, but very differently. I'm teaching it in a 3D space. You're going to be teaching it from a different space. Oh, that's cool. This is what the star seed is designed to do. They're designed to be in the higher consciousnesses in the higher fields, be in it, vibrate in it, live in it experience it in every now and then turn around to the other 3d humans and assist them through this and into those fields with more ease and grace that's the job of the starseed 
So, what's is the star seeds and light worker the same thing? They're different in the sense that, I mean, they're all here to help humanity and the earth, right? So, from a large perspective, they're the same because they're all assisting. But uh, but they're very different in the way in their intention in coming in. So a light worker may have been coming in for thousands of years. They may have been on the earth plane millions of years ago. Right? My so, suit's first life. Yeah. So you, you've been working with the light workers for millions of years from the higher realms. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so the light worker is just a, 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 a being that's dropped in at any now moment throughout the history of earth being in existence to assist the earth and humanity in shifting frequencies. The star seed came in in this now, in the last, you know, 50 years, give or take, time doesn't exist in that higher dimension, for the sole purpose of being in the higher dimensional realms, accessing those higher dimensional abilities and pulling the human in. Because this is the, 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 this is the, the, the rodeo has now begun. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for, for millions of years. Well, I shouldn't say that. We've been waiting for this for the last 15,000 years because we got pulled down into the third dimension, right? Mm -hmm. So, but we've been waiting for this moment of, oh my God, there, it's finally going back into that 5D consciousness where everything can start to shift back the way it was designed to go in the first place. Mm -hmm. Hundreds um, of thousands of years ago. Are they telling you a dimension that I'm from? Like what number? The looks, it looks like you are around an 11th dimensional consciousness. What they're showing me. 11th oh dimension, which is a great, it's a good dimension. It's a, it's an, it's a, it's a dimension that um, it's not too, too high up where, where you, uh, where it would be even more difficult and challenging to sort of, access and connect into but it's high enough up where uh you, you you're you're going to be unraveling a lot of uh pretty potent and powerful uh skills gifts tools whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. um, and a syrian hybrid so i should start calling the syrians in yep you can call the syrians in and the, the, you can just call them in they're going to come in no matter what you call them even if you called them like George, they're going to come in because, <laughs> because it's all energy, right? Yeah. As soon as you energetically attack, connect to them, they're going to come in. They don't care what you call them because in the higher realms, they actually don't have names. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like you don't call yourself a Syrian when you're in the Syrian consciousness. Mm, okay. You guys don't have names, but the human experience, the earth plane experience with the humans on them, they, the human has to have, it's because of the mind, the human has to have names in order to attach. Yeah. Right. Eventually. Energy though. Have, but it's all energy. So you could call it, you could call them anything. They don't care. But they are a Syrian, an 80% Syrian and a 20% other kind of galactic, like zygote or zygland or some kind of really strange uh, collective that I've never heard of. There's thousands of them out there. Yeah. There's thousands of galactic systems that we have, that we forgot the names of quote unquote names, right. That we don't have names for. And the reason we don't have names for them is because they have, the human hasn't uh, connected with them consciously the way the human has with the larger collectives, like the Palladians, the Syrians, the Octurians, the Lyrans, the Andromeda, Cassiopeia, like the big, big collectives that have been, um, actively loudly participating with the human for a very long time are they saying that i should work with any other beings right now to help me you can call in other beings if you want so you know you're you 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 imagine that you have friends all over the place right you're you're, you're familiar with all of the galactics mm -hmm. okay? they're like your best friends yeah so you can call any of them in at any time Right? Like today, I want to just sit with the Palladians. So you can practice calling the Palladians in. Mm -hmm. You practice sitting with these beings and starting to, it's almost like you have to remember who you were and who you actually are and how you engaged. Yeah, what the Palladians feel like. 
<laughs> yeah. What do the Palladians feel like? What do the Syrians feel like? What do the Cassiopeians feel like? Oh my God, I have to feel you guys from this realm. This sucks. You have no idea what this feels like, right? Like this is such a denser oh, sort of, no. it's so hard to, to experience, but opening up that fourth energy center and having them activate you and open, and, you know, experience them from that center. That's the closest we can get to really starting to, to feel them. Again, remembering, oh my God, that's right. This is what the Palladians feel like. Oh my God, this is what the Syrians feel like. Oh my God, this is what the Lyrans feel like, you know? And of course, in each large collective, there's other collectives within that, right? So in the large Syrian, like you're a small collective within a very large collective. I um, have been opening up about my spirituality on Instagram and I have a YouTube video up. Should I continue to do that or... Yeah, if it feels, if, if it's what you are, if it assists you in, in, in remembering, if it assists you, like getting it out, assists you, then absolutely. And, yeah, and because go ahead. I just don't have anybody to talk to about it at all. And it's, it's pretty rare for me to even say stuff out loud. So I just started posting. You should keep doing that. You should keep doing videos. And, and, and um, because what it's going to do is it's going to assist you in remembering. Okay. It's going to keep you in that frequency of, oh yeah, this is actually real. Mm -hmm. Right. And so don't work, think about it as like a journal as opposed to, oh, I'm trying to get followers and that kind of thing. Right. Think of it as a journal. And the more you get it out, the more you are acknowledging that this is who you are and it's going to get easier for you to teach it and acknowledge it the more you get it out. Okay. See what it's almost like the YouTube channel, the videos are going to be like, oh my God, this is what I've learned today and I want to share it. This is what I learned today and I want to Yeah, because I, I just don't have it. anybody else to like, I mean, I know there's beings and my people. Use your like, channel. Use your yeah. video camera as a way of, as a journal or a writing technique, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. And don't worry, just post them. Yeah, it's, it was really, really hard for me to do that, but I just did it. It's very like, challenging in the beginning. Yeah, just to be completely honest, open. Yep. And I, another thing is that I don't know if this is my, it's probably my ego, but it's just, I don't want to like offend anybody. That is part of awakening. That's part of stepping into your work. It's a very normal human experience and okay. um, it's, it's, it will go away. So I just be completely authentic? Just keep going. And be very compassionate and gentle for your, with yourself. Be very compassionate and gentle with the humans that are going to not resonate. Your job is not to have people resonate with it. Okay? Meaning there are going to be millions of humans that are not ready for what you're going to be teaching. That's mm-hmm. okay. There's millions that are. And you're showing up for the millions that are going to be ready. Okay. Okay, so there's going to be a handful that are going to not, that are going to freak out, and there's handfuls that are ready for it. You're doing it for the ones that are ready for it. So in the beginning, it's, it's, they're showing me that you, that you're, they need you to do this so that you can just get comfortable speaking the truths that you know. Mm -hmm. And the, the faster you do that, the easier it will be, the less you're going to care, the more you're just going to, the more excited you're going to be. So it's like a stepping stone. Exactly. Okay. And not to, there's going to be videos you'll post where you're like, Oh my God, why did I do that? And there's going to be videos where you're like, Oh my God, that was amazing. Right. The ego is always going to be there. Yeah. Okay. And so, but this is, this is important for you to do because it's, there's a reason for it happening. Okay. that's Nothing is by accident. Okay. Okay. So you're listening and you're following and you're trusting. Keep doing the videos. Keep, Keep doing posting. the videos, meditate. And meditate as often as you can. Start to read or however you want to do it, whether it's online on YouTube, whether it's going to a library and seeing what kind of books they have, um, you know, maybe purchasing a used book, whatever you can do to start to learn about the quantum field. Um, that it just resonates so deeply. Yeah, and the uh, more you energy do energy and quantumness and whatever, I don't know exactly what yet. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have your own way of talking about it because you have your own 
unique energetic uh, vibration. Yeah. And the way that you, and whatever it is that you're going to be sharing and teaching is, is not, has not been shared yet. I'm important. <laughs> yeah. You're very important. You're very, very important. Your voice is very important. Your, 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 your presence is very important. What you hold inside of you is very important. It's very, very important. Probably why I was told to do the session with you, obviously. I mean, I haven't done a session in three months. Thank you. So the, the, they, there was a reason they needed to get you to, 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 to hear them. Right? It's hard for us to be like, oh, wow, I really am. I'm pretty, I'm, I must be pretty important, right? Like there must, there's, this is important. Everyone's important. Every human is important. Every human has a purpose for being on the earth plane, whether they're a light worker or not, they have a purpose. They, they chose to come in, right? But you've got a, you've got a, ro a powerful role for humanity, especially those that are awakening in the next 10, 15, 20 years. You've got your whole, you've got years ahead of you. So when you start living in present moment, it's really hard to start recognizing that there's years ahead of us, right? Because we're living present, so we don't think years. But, but mm -hmm. from an egoic linear time frame continuum, you've got many, many years to, to do this work. Yeah, I'm only 21. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Don't even chill out. Relax. Take this time because there's going to be time where you're, you're not going to have time. Meaning you're going to be so busy, right? Yeah. You're going to look back at this moment right now. So when I first started out, I was, I was told by my guides to move to Mount Shasta, which is a really quiet, you know, 4,000 person town. And mm -hmm. it, it freaked me out because it was going to be so quiet and so lonely. And, um, but I did it and I had all the time in the world. Right. And I went through all kinds of transformations and all kinds of stuff. And that's when I started communicating and channeling the star beams, which is what my, one of the things I'm here to do. So we have to trust that what, where we are is exactly where we're supposed to be. And we get to have all the human experiences and emotions around it. Right. I hated being in Mount Shasta many times, many days. I was like, this sucks. But every morning I woke up and even in the, this sucks, I knew that this was my work. Right. Every day you wake up and this is your work. You're at, you're at work. However, it shows up. And for you, it's meditating and reading and learning and trusting and communing. That's your job right now. Okay. And doing the videos. Just do the videos. Are they saying anything else? They just keep handing a book to you. What book? I have no idea. It's the, they're like, she knows the book, that this book is inside of her. Okay. And, and I keep seeing it as like an encyclopedia, um, but that's just the way that I'm interpreting the energy of it, which means tons of information, right? And encyclopedia is like, well, you're too young to even know encyclopedias, but you know, that's where we got all of our information before the internet. Yeah. yeah. I have all the information on the internet inside of me. Love yeah, you you have you have more information than when it's on the internet. <laughs> oh yeah, because I what's inside we're... of you hasn't been produced, hasn't been given yet to the internet. Human, the humans haven't tapped into it yet. Yeah, you have to tap into it, which is another reason why you're you're studying because it's like, what is this all about? What do I know? Mm -hmm. What, what am I aware of? What am, and, and so in talk to them, tell them to direct you. What do I need to see in my body today? What do I need to recognize in my body today? What do I need to open? What energy center do I need to work with? What's going on, you guys? Right? And, and then you just trust the very quiet, subtle way that you're going to hear in the beginning. First thing you hear, you trust. First thing. Okay. Right? You don't think about it and you don't doubt it and you don't question it. And if it's quiet, then you just sit in the quiet. You have to get used to that too, because when, we, when we're starting to learn, there can be moments where it's like, oh, I think I heard this, great. And then there's moments where it's like crickets. Exactly, that's what it's like. Right. Because I hear some small like words sometimes. I'm like, wait, what was that? 
Right, right, right. So it'll it'll be filtered as if you're speaking to yourself, right? A lot of times, mm-hmm. like you're having a conversation with yourself. I have a question about my guides too. I'm not very connected to them. Um, I still have guides, right? <laughs> I have to. I yeah, just, but I it's, don't feel them because they're not they're not important right now. So your guides assisted you through your early kind of development and growing up, sort of like navigating, like you're like you're safe, you, you're okay, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna handle this energy, right? Yeah, when I was unconscious. Yeah, it was very shocking to the system to be energetic in form and in physicality and all the other humans and all the other humans' emotions and your parents' emotions. And I mean, there's just so much that was, that you had to navigate, that you mm-hmm. had a lot of guides and a lot of protection around you. And right now, that is not what's important. Like connecting with them doesn't, it, it's almost like they're gone. Yeah. Right? And really, the only thing around you are these beings. So I'm, I'm the same way. I don't have guides. What? I don't have like angels or anything around me. Just the angels me. have always been around you, and they're always going to be around you. But they're they're they're, and you can tap into them at any time, right? Mm-hmm. But they're not. It's not important right now. But they're always okay. there because you needed tons of protection when you were younger. Yeah, I went through a lot of trauma. Yeah. I realize that everything now, and I understand. Yeah, it was intense. It was beyond intense. It was like, um, it was, it it was a, a massive um, shock to the system when you dropped in. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so it was an overload, and it's okay. And the great thing about uh, you as the star seed is, yeah, that all happened, but you're not but dwelling on it. Yeah, you're not dwelling on it and you're not using it as some sort of like excuse and and you're also not needing to kind of dive deep into the healing process of it. Do you know what I mean? Like that you could care less. It's almost like, let me just get to work. Yeah, basically that's exactly how it is. Yeah. Like it all happened, that's great, but you're not you're not a normal sort of light worker or even human that's like, Oh, I better go back and clear this. I better go back and purge this. You're just like, fuck it. That shit happened. I don't care. That's what happened when I dropped into human form. Let me get going and start doing my work. Right. Yeah. You actually taught me that. Well, you, that's you. Well, I reminded you something to, yeah, you reminded me totally. Yeah. I I just just remind you. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I don't teach. I didn't teach you. I reminded you. Yeah. yeah. You're like, Oh my freaking God. She's right. I forgot. Yeah. Holy shit. I forgot. That's what I'm, that's how I'm supposed to be. Right. Yeah. It's like, Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have to dive deep into, I'm not supposed to, I don't yeah. have time. I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> right. Like that happened and that's all great and glorious. And like, it's moving out of my body. Fabulous. But I actually have to get to work now. Right. Mm-hmm. But you have mm-hmm. tons of angels around you and at any now moment you can pull them in. Okay. But you don't have specific guides that are guiding you right now. Your these beings are guiding you and that's all that's important. Okay. Okay. And it can, maybe there'll be beings that'll come in at different times and and teach you different stuff. That's very possible. I mean, anything is possible going forward. You have the rest of your life, but in terms of who is guiding me, these two beings are going to be guiding you until there's other beings coming in, but it's always going to be galactic beings. And then the angelic realm. Right. You had Jesus around you in, in, in for, for some, you had a lot, you had Jesus around you. You had St. Germain around you. had some ascended masters with you to, reminding you that why this is happening. Cause there was a lot of times in your life younger where you were like, why, why, why? And they came in and reminded you whether you're conscious of this or not. They came in and reminded you. It was like you were able to settle a little bit more and, and, um, and not take your life and not leave and not exit. And right. So they reminded you, but that's that's their job that was their job but they're not Mm -hmm. here to guide you 24 7 these beings are Mm -hmm. okay but i mean you're you can access any being any consciousness anytime that you want and pull them in but what what's what what is in your now and what they want you to what's what's for you to focus on are these two beings the syrian hybrid you know being the two that are in front of you and, and, you know, the more that you can don't have an expectation of how each meditation is supposed to go or how each day is supposed to go, right? Try to not have expectation. 
it's very challenging. Try it. Keep, keep that, keep that kind of in your, in the forefront. Oh, I'm expecting something. Okay, great. Let me just soften into not. Soften into not expecting any outcome. Exactly. Just surrendering into the now. Non-attachment, 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 non-attachment. Observer non-attachment, observer non-attachment, observer non-attachment. Non-attachment is, is key to shifting into the higher states and leading the higher states. Okay. The more you, not, the more you are non-attached to any outcome, the more you are in that bubble. Um, so I'm supposed to, so they want me to not focus on the spiritual aspect, but the scientific aspect now? Yep. Yeah. I mean, go, you could, if, if you're called to listen to the spiritual pieces, then do that. But, but they need you to study the scientific sort of facts, facts of the quantum field. Because it's going to activate you. Just like when you heard my voice for the first time, right? Or you heard my messages for the first time. You were like, something about this woman's voice. Yes, exactly. There was like this internal thing that turned on, right? Something mm -hmm. turned on where you were like, how do I know this person? And yet I don't know this person. You were yeah. activated. So it's the same thing with the information with the quantum. You're going to be like, holy shit. I already no know all of this. Right. <laughs> but you've got to get activated. Okay. And so that's what's going to activate you. So you, what you're was just that guy's name it. that you were going to? I guess I can go. Oh, Nassim. N a s s. N a s s. I a m. I think something like that. Um, he's got books. He's got videos. He's. I mean, he's pretty big in the. He's. I think he's like you would consider him like a spiritual teacher, but he's more of the quantum physics teacher. Okay. And I think you'll be guided to exactly who you need to go to. It's okay. very scientific. It's very 3D sort of like science, right? And for whatever reason, that's going to move you into this wor wormhole where you're going to go, oh my God, it's so much bigger than that. What he's saying is only the beginning, right? Okay. So that's, that's kind of where you want to go. Because that's then it's stepping like, soon. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh. They don't even have any idea, right? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. You're going to be like, yes, and you have no idea, to, right? Because it's, 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 it's so much more complex and big, bigger than what the humans understand in terms of what we're capable of right now in the physical form. See, that's what you're going to be teaching. Everybody is learning about the quantum field as if it's outside of them, right? Inside of them. But, but accessing that quantum space inside the physical form is a whole new magical tool shed. Okay. So that's what you want to visualize. You're actually going to be teaching this quantum field, quantum space inside the body and opening this shed up or opening up this, this, um, uh, this box of gold and teaching people how to access everything inside their form. Wow. However, it unravels. So you want to keep teaching. You want to keep sharing on YouTube. You want to keep sharing on, on your Instagram feed or whatever you have. You just want to share, and you're doing it for to to prepare yourself and to just stay in the, in in the study zone. Like, okay, I'm showing up. I'm showing up. I'm showing up. Okay. Again, you don't want to wait for anything because you want the energy to keep moving. Right. So you're always mm -hmm. just doing something to move the energy. Doing so, something as in making the videos? Making videos, meditating, meditating, reading, holding the knowingness of who you are when you're walking around in the world, all of that. That's all moving energy. Okay. When you get stuck in, what am I doing? Why am I not doing it? What am I supposed to be doing? Then you're, then you're stagnant. You're, you're restricted. Uh-huh. Right? This sucks. I don't want to be doing this. I wish I was this. I wish I was there. I wish I wish. Whatever it is, right? You're, hold, you're stagnant and you're restricted. You're tight and the energy stops. So as soon as you let go and breathe and open and expand and kind of move yourself into that bubble of abundance, which isn't really actually like money abundance, it's, it's, it's moving into the space where all is perfect and divine. I'm receiving exactly what I need when I need. That's the abundance energy frequency.
It's that I have moved into this vortex where everything I need is given to me in this now and it's all perfect and divine and I'm taken care of. Off I go. Always. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm not, in, I'm actually, egoic me is not in charge. I get to just follow the resonance of what I'm being f- called to do, what feels good. So it might yeah. not even be a voice all the time, right? What feels good? That's what I've been doing lately. Oh my God, I feel like I need to go into the infrared sauna, go in the infrared sauna, right? What, what feels like your, where does, what, what feels right? What feels good? What, what feel into what is you're being f- told to do through the body. I feel like going and sitting by a river. Go and sit by a river. I feel like going and sitting in the bathtub. Go and sit in the bathtub. I feel like walking around town today. Go walk around town, right? So again, they're telling you what to do, the, the, the meditation and the study, but you also want to listen to what you feel because that's always moving you. There's always a reason for that. The body is resonance. The body is telling you, I need you to do this. Okay, I'm gonna go do this. And a lot of times the higher self will speak to us through the body. Am I connected to my higher self? Yeah, you hear your higher self 24 seven. There's no blockage in you, okay? You're not blocked. Like a lot of humans, you know, you're not blocked. You're completely open and receiving. It's just a matter of like, was that my higher self? I'm not sure if that was my higher self. That might've been, right? So you're just learning how to navigate what is the higher self. Am I hearing the higher self or am I hearing something else or am I hearing my ego? What is this? My higher self sounds like me, it seems like. It does, 100%. Yeah, your higher self is gonna sound like you. Exactly like like me. It sounds like my own voice. Exactly, that's the higher self. It's, It's just like the ego sounds like you, right? Yeah. The ego sounds like you, so you think we're, you're the ego, right? But mm-hmm. um, the higher self is the exact same way. It sounds, it's, it, it is literally in the same wheelhouse as the ego. They share the same space. How do and I they, build a closer relationship with my higher self? Well, it's not about building a high, better relationship. What it is, is it's, it's about embodying the higher self more, right? So almost imagining like you are being the higher self more. So the way you start to be the higher self more is you start to listen more consciously remind yourself that you are, that you are open to the higher self. I'm opening to the higher self. I'm open to the higher self. I'm open to the higher self. I'm communicating with the higher self. I'm listening to the higher. You're just consciously aware that you are always open and receiving from the higher self. And then you just start to get really conscious and aware of what you're hearing, right? So you're like really navigating in that density exactly what you're listening to. You start to get like every now moment, you're literally like investigating it instead of just willy nilly, like letting it just be. Mm -hmm. No, you're like, what voice was that? Well, that was my ego. What voice was that? That was my higher self. 24-7. All day long, you're doing that. Yeah, I am doing that. I'm trying to at least. Yep. Yeah, so, that's, so you just want to stay the observer. And so the way you embody more of the higher self is that you're, you're consciously aware of the fact that you're doing that. So am I supposed to observe myself while I'm um, like reading or learning? If you want, I mean, your light, the being that you are, the light being that you are inside of you, you're going to start connecting to more. And when you start connecting to that aspect of you, you'll start watching yourself more as a human. Mm -hmm. You'll start being like, oh, I'm, I'm actually being a human. This is weird, right? You've are, this is a natural thing that you experience all the time, right? You're kind of like, oh my God, I'm a human. Like, oh yeah, I do that all the time. (laughs) Right. Most people don't. (laughs) I do that all the time. (laughs) Yeah. So you're already the observer as the being of light that you are. Yeah. So in that space like, of like, I'm... yeah. When you're like in the space of, oh my God, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a human. That is actually you being an observer. Oh, as I've been the doing that my light. whole life. Yeah. As the being of light, right? That's a starseed, massive starseed characteristic. They are actually vis- observing themselves as the being of light they are inside their body. Wow. 
So now you just need to embody more of the higher self, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and recognize that when you are watching yourself as the human, you are, being, you are in that consciousness of the light being. And can you settle into that more? right? Like, oh my God, I am a being of light. Holy shit. I am in this body. Wait. So instead of just letting it just be nonchalant because you've been doing it for so long, instead mm -hmm. actually sit with it, actually be it for a moment. Like, wait, I actually am. And this is the part that they were saying earlier when you want to, if you want to make an impact, right. And you're every now walking around, hold that remembrance and that knowingness. I'm a being of light in here. Holy shit. I dropped in with a lot of, a lot of that light quotient, right? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm actually in and I'm looking out through these physical human eyes. I'm like trapped in here. For real. Right? And so be in that space more. Breathe in that space more. Live from that space more. And that's automatically serving. Uh, absolutely. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Most humans don't do that, by the way. They don't even know how to. They can't access that yet. Yeah. You know? They're saying you you're wow. you're 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 doing good work and you're going you're gonna do a, you're gonna do great work, they're saying you're gonna do great just let her know she's gonna do great work, they're saying. Yes. Thank and you. they're they're saying this is enough for now. So this is all this is all you're gonna consume for now. Okay. Okay. So Yeah, that was a lot of information. Yeah, it was a lot. And now you're going to run with it and get real busy and, and do your stuff. So, I'm so, excited. so just, um, you know, if you have to write down the steps of like, okay, let me listen to this again. And like, what am I working on today? What am I focusing on today? Yeah. Right. And then, oh, I'm in expectation. Okay, let me recognize I'm in expectation. Okay, am I in that bubble of abundance frequency? No. Okay, let me move into that. Like, what is my body telling me it wants to do today? Oh, it wants to go, go for a drive or it wants me to walk around the town or whatever that is, right? So you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're working. It's, it's, you're, you're, you're on. Yes. What do I want to share today on my YouTube channel? Oh, I'm going to talk about the fact that I'm, I'm a star seed and this is what it feels like and this is my experience and this is how I know I am and right because what it's doing by you doing this is it's a it's validating your truths you know what's funny yesterday I was filming and they were telling me it's a journal yeah that's what they're telling that's what they're saying it's your oh, it's wow. your journal so yeah they were hearing that I, the I did tap into that yeah I was like my journal what do you mean yes that's what okay. they're saying that the, the youtube is your way of processing and, and journaling what you're going through it's like a person to talk to basically mm -hmm. and people will start listening and then they'll start resonating and and but that's not the the point right yeah, now is not true. for that the point right now is not for others the point is actually just for you um uh -huh. but it'll eventually move into service okay. but you've got to start to unravel and feel confident and trust what is what you are unraveling about yourself right okay thank you so much for doing this for me oh my god it was so needed it was really i've been needed. waiting for this for like ever yeah and um thank you for, for coming in. I mean, I, I'm not even tapping into the human aspect of you. I'm literally tapping into that being that you are. And it's like, oh my God, there is so much um, uh, gratitude and bowing down to that aspect of you that's, that's, that, that dropped in. And um, because there is such a heart-centered service component to that being, to, to the consciousness that you are. The only reason you're in human form is to serve humanity because your heart, the heart frequency, not the physical heart, right? The heart frequency, which is unity, which is love for all beings, consciousness, all everything, um, wants to, wanted to serve in this now, wanted to, to ease the, the human sort of process of shifting. And there was yeah. an excitement around it of like, oh my God, like I can't wait to do, I can't wait to show that. I can tap into that. I can. I'm like, oh yeah. my God, this is actually a gift that I'm yeah. here in physical form, like a straight right. up miracle. Right. And then as soon as, as you wake up more and more, you're like, oh my God, I'm actually in the body now. I'm actually going to be able to talk to the human. I'm actually going to be able to show the human because when you're in the higher realms, it's very challenging 
to communicate with the human. Mm -hmm. Very challenging. It's torture because they can't hear a lot of times, most of the time. They don't trust what they're hearing, right? So it's very mm -hmm. challenging to teach from the higher realms. It's much easier to be in the body to teach. And so as you awaken more and more, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is the most amazing gift I've ever had. I cannot wait. This is so freaking exciting. See, yeah, because I'm not, cause it's because I'm actually in physical form. Yeah. And now you like get to actually teaching speak. teaching with words. Yeah. Right. You're like, I get it's to so much speak. easier than doing it. So from much happening. easier. Right. And you get to actually share that. At one point you'll be sharing that, right? Like, oh my God, I was, I used to assist the humans from the higher realms and it's so much easier to assist from the speaking, right? And it's going to mm -hmm. awaken other star seeds. It's going to awaken humanity. It's going to shift. There's so many, so many things that are going to happen when you start really stepping into all of this. But yeah, I mean, you're, it's, it's a, it's, it's you, you, nothing is going to be holding you back. Like, like the other, like a lot of humans, I should say. Okay. Um, nothing's holding, going to be holding you back. You're not going to have anxiety or fears or any of that. Like it's, it, that's not a going to, that doesn't, that's not existing in the reality for you. Right. So it's just going to snowball. It's just going to, you're just going to, you're going to, you're going to feed off of the excitement. Mm-hmm. So just trust and just keep knowing that you're hearing, you're hearing everything you're hearing is them. Just keep trusting it and continue to have dialogue out loud or to yourself with them. And again, it's going to kind of sound like you're talking to yourself, right? Like you're having a conversation with yourself. Like, what do you mean? It's a journal. It's a journal. Yeah, it's a journal. Oh, okay. That's what it's going to sound like. Yeah. I experienced that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Amazing. All right, my love. Well, there you go. Holy cow. Thank you. I have. Thank you so much. God, you're so welcome. Um, um, reach out if you have any questions that come up, okay, throughout the, you know, throughout the kind of an unraveling of, of everything and of, of every now and of all of this. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll receive the link to the recording, I don't know, maybe within an hour. Okay. Um, and when you get the link, you're going to click the link and, um, the video is going to pop up. Right. But then on the right hand side, it's going to say, um, download and download three links or whatever, and, or two links, um, mm -hmm. and click that download and it'll, the video, the video and the audio will both pop up and you can save it somewhere. Yeah. I can download it to Dropbox, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, my love. <laughs> Thank you. Wowzers, what an amazing <laughs> being you are. All right, happy happy journeys. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.